Alright, people. Sorry about that. It looks like my computer is just having a fucking day today. I wanted to do this just as a simple Discord uh, stream, but that wasn't working out. So I decided to take it here, and taking it here provided I'm some... Taking uh, it here, and oh, taking it here pro provided its own problems. <laughs> it's good to know that we, we've got it working. So, hello everybody. I am doing a weird kind of surprise stream today because, uh, like an impromptu in the middle of the morning kind of day between now and lunch, because I found a deck that I want to play on Sunday and I thought I'd share it with everybody. This was really going to just be a whoever wants to see can see kind of deal, but seeing as that didn't work, everybody gets to see it now. So, yeah. And it'd be even less like I'm talking to myself. I really should just stay off Discord. Let's uh, go ahead and close this. Okay. Um... And now thinking about it, I probably don't even have enough rare wild cards for this. I mean, I have 19, and that seems crazy to have at this point. But here we are. <laughs> okay. So the whole idea here is on turn three to cheat out some big bad, which isn't exactly unheard of as far as I uh, believe this is a historic deck. No, the format is Explorer. What is Explorer? Let's see. Let's test that out because I've not played Explorer yet. So this will be a lesson for both you and me. Okay, so, this deck idea is for the Explorer format. What is the Explorer format? So, deck building rules seem to be more or less the same. Minimum 60 cards, maximum 250 cards. Uh, best of one sideboard is up to seven cards. Best of three sideboard up to 15. Cards that only exist digitally are excluded from Explorer. Explorer is managed just like a tabletop format. Cards are not subject to either rebalancing or suspensions. So basically no alchemy cards and no rebalanced cards. I presume that this is essentially historic without digital only cards. So does that mean, hold on, let's check something here. Can I use Brainstorm? Can I use Brainstorm, please? Let Brainstorm's not available? Why not? Oh, because it's a digital only card. No, it wasn't. It was a strict saving card. Alright, well... This is already dumb. <laughs> so what's available in Explorer? Can you show me? No, you cannot. Oh, hi, Starberry. Thanks for showing up. Uh, we're just playing around in Magic for the time being. Uh, not really sure what's going to come of it. I'm learning some new things today. Because I saw... Some cards, or sorry, a deck that came around my vision today that I want to play. And it looks like it's going to give me a chance to learn a brand new format. That makes absolutely no sense. So the following card sets are included in Explorer. 
Oh, I see. So Strixhaven is included, excluding Mystical Archive. The only Mystical Archive cards that are legal are ones that were already printed in Strixhaven. Gotcha. Or other legal sets. So cards like Opt that have a Mystical Archive version will be legal. So essentially it's like looking like cards that really only ever had standard releases. Anything outside of that that were specifically released for Arena are not legal. So it's almost like it looks like this weird mishmash of Historic and Pioneer. I'm kind of here for this. Well, let's uh take this deck and see how many white weenie decks I play against. Um, so the whole idea of this deck, uh, like I mentioned before, is specifically to drop a big bad on the table. But because whoever built this is a absolute meme lord. Uh, he's decided that me, that part of me, that big bad, to be this guy. Uh, let's see how many copies I have. Probably not much. Because it was like super banned. Uh, yeah, so that's four of, that we need of this one. Alright, so Agent of Treachery, when it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. And you might understand, that's, oh wait. Not legal in the following formats. Yeah, so all historic formats where it's still it would still be legal if it weren't banned, um, they are banned. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. Now, the whole idea with this card is you're going to try and abuse it. Uh, either by copying it or by bouncing it. Um, it's a lot easier to copy it, and that's more or less what this deck aims to do. Cheat it out, copy it a bunch of times. How you would cheat it out? Well, I'm glad you asked. You, The easiest way to do it, and I'm pretty sure the only way you can do it, is using this card, Transmogrify. So it is a sorcery. You play for four mana with one red. Exile target creature. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. That player puts that card onto the battlefield, then shuffles the rest into, the, into their library. So the whole idea is to have Agent of Treachery be the only actual creature card in the deck. But the problem is that it says exile target creature. So how would you manage to do that? Well... I'm also glad that you asked. Uh, that's a rare as well, so we're already up to eight rares. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, so let's see. So one of one of the easiest ways I believe we're gonna going to be doing this is, I uh, believe we're looking at croaking counterpart. No, careful cultivation. There we go. And Careful Cultivation here has Enchant Artifact or Creature, and as long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it gets plus one, plus three, and has reach, and tap to add two green mana. Well, you think, well, okay, what's the big deal about this? Well, there's the other part, which is Channel, and you can pay one and a green and discard Careful Cultivation to create a 1-1 one, one green Human Monk creature token with tap add green mana so the whole idea is you have three mana down you pay two or pay the two mana discard careful cultivation make the token and then on your next turn you have access to four on turn three i'm sorry on turn two you do that then on turn three, you have access to three lands. Hopefully, you're not taking a hand with less than three mana. 
and you tap the monk, you tap your lands, you play Transmogrify, and on turn three, you have an Agent of Treachery. Well, okay, that's great. You steal one target permanent, right? Well, things get a little bit broken after that point, so I already have three copies of this. I mean, it is a common after all. And that's from uh, the, let's just call it Cyberpunk Kamigawa, because that's what it really is. So we use probably the worst, or not the worst, but the best version of what we're looking for here, uh, is Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So... This is self-sufficient on its own. We can use this as well to get us to where we need to be. Because this also, as an enchantment saga, on its first chapter creates us that token. It's a 2-2 red goblin shaman, or shaman, however you want to pronounce that, with whenever a creature attacks, create a treasure token. The only problem with this is it doesn't generate mana, so it doesn't get us there quicker. Um, the second chapter, you may discard up to two cards... If you do, drop that many cards. And then chapter 3 is exile this saga and then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. The saga itself is not a big deal. However, once it's transformed, you pay 1 and tap it as a 2-2 two -two creature and create a token that's a copy of another non-legendary creature you control, except that it has haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Um, we're going to be copying Agent of Tre Treachery, obviously, for the additional ETB. So you, uh, on one turn, in theory, you could be stealing multiple permanents. Um, that would be another instance of how we do this. So we're going to add how many for this? Uh, four. So we're up to almost 12. We're up to 11. <laughs> Rare wild cards that we're using here uh god this format is gonna blow my wild cards out all right uh and all literally just rares at this point i have so many other wild cards that are not going to get used here uh let's fill in some of the others here so we have luca i think that should be a, no let's say can't put punctuation in here because it's just boolean terms i guess uh, we're looking for a copy, copper coat outcast. Uh, so this one's a bit wordy. So let's go ahead and put these in the deck. And so it's a planeswalker uh, for five mana. Uh, it's, it starts with five loyalty, and its plus one is exile the top three cards of your library. Creature cards exiled this way gain. You may cast this card from exile as long as you control a Luca planeswalker. It's minus two is exile target creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher mana value. Oh, that's saucy. And put that card onto the battlefield with the rest of your pot of your library in bot or random order. And then, uh, I mean, it's kind of cut off, but it says minus seven. Each creature you control deals damage equal to its... I'm going to say toughness to each opponent. That's nuts. All right. So that we were never going to use its minus seven. You pop it onto the battlefield and use its minus two in place of a transmogrify. The condition being is that it has to have a higher mana value. Well, if you are exiling a token, everything has higher mana value in your deck and in your hand. Easy peasy, right? But it's five mana, so you're not depending on this as much. Uh, next we have Fire Prophecy, which I'm going to presume is a form of removal. I think that's uh, Strixhaven. No, Ikoria. All right. So we got two Fire Prophecies in there. Uh, Deal three damage to target creature. You may put a card from your hand. On the bottom of your library, if you do draw a card, okay. So removal with an option for card draw. I'm not against that. That's uh, pretty cool. All right. Uh, 
and then croaking counterpart i believe that's another copy spell yes uh so this one says whoa whoa whoa, whoa. getting a little bit crazy with the cheese whiz there uh another rare shit so we're up to 12 now uh create a token that's a copy of target non-frog creature except for it's a 1-1 one, one green frog so it's directly to copy agent of treachery that is exactly what this does for three mana and it has flashback for five mana nice all right <clears throat> now at this point you're thinking well okay you're stealing permanence why is this such a big meme or something like that well it doesn't say non-land permanence yeah so not only can you manage their battlefield you can completely control their game and just push them off the board uh with this deck now the problem with a deck like this is that it's a bit of a glass cannon uh, in that the moments you try, they, they basically see what you're doing, um, it, taking you off the, the, the beaten path is incredibly easy. Like, incredibly easy. <clears throat> so if you don't get at least three of these triggers, you're pretty, and you're, or you're not taking them off lands, you're pretty much stuck. Uh, this deck is essentially good at uh, best of one. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think they call it best of one, but just basically single match. That That is where this deck thrives. Uh, best of three does not work out at all. Uh, I mean, it does, but it's really kind of a roll of the dice, I guess. Um, next up, we have... Prismari Command, which it finally is a Strixhaven card. Uh, another two, two rare uh, wild cards going into this. So I'm up to 14 now. What is... What, oh, okay. And Prismari Command is an instant for three mana. And we can choose two of the following prompts. Uh, Prismari Command deals, pardon me, two damage to any target. Target player draws two cards... And discards two cards, or then discards two cards, because you don't want P players doing that simultaneously, of course. Target player creates a treasure token and destroy target artifact. So, this is a way to control the board and also give yourself an option to dig and getting get yourself into faster mana. This is just versatility uh, at the end of the day. This gives you options. Because uh, it also works as a kind of removal as well. Uh, we're going to go burn down the house. This is the next one. This is a newer card. So this one is... Oh, God, that's big mana too. It's another rare wild card. God, this guy's just building with rares, isn't he? All right. Uh, this one is a sorcery. The, you get to choose one of the following prompts for five mana. Burn down the house, deals 5 damage to each creature and each planeswalker, uh, and create 3 one, 1 red devil creature tokens with when this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. They gain haste until end of turn. Uh, so, creating more targets for transmogrify at the end of the day. It's a little bit pricey for my blood, but uh, it gets the job done. Um, uh, don't know why that's a rare, but whatever. I think it's the, uh, the board wipe potential there that gets that done. Uh, next up is Courier's Briefcase. Let me guess. Oh, an uncommon. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. That, uh, is two mana. Artifact Treasure. I, that kind of confuses me. Is this the first card that... Like a first actual card that is an artifact treasure. Okay, whatever. Anyways. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature token. There we go. That's the purpose of this card. Uh, tap and sack. Add one mana of any color. So it gets you into mana. 
and then one of each color, tap and sack, draw three cards. That's just terrible. Uh, but you're you're looking at speeding up mana production and getting ourselves a token. That's exactly why that's there. So we're going to go ahead and four of, of this one. Am I going to be able to get there? I just might be able to. It, it's going to be dependent entirely on lands because it looks like our land production, or I'm sorry, our, our land base is very, very pricey. Uh, so Shark Typhoon is our next one. We only have two of that one. Again, we're here for uh, mana generation. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX Blue Shark creature token with flying. Where X is that spell's mana value. Um, basic, basically metallurgic summonings in standard. Uh, well, was the standard card. When you cycle it, you can also create a XX Blue Shark creature token, which is probably why this is in the deck, not for its uh, main. So you're going to be cycling this to get a token. So you pay three mana, you get a card, and you get to create a 1-1 one, one Blue Shark with flying, which is pretty damn good. Uh, that's probably why it's a rare, because you get that as basically metallurgic summoning with upside, which is great. Uh, next up, now we got lands to worry about, uh, which, <laughs> this might be a bad time, because right now we're looking at one, uh, that's a mythic, so we don't have to worry about that, uh, one, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, 16, 16 rares that we need. We only have three more to part for our lands. Oh boy. So, Boseju, who endures. Well, there's, there's <laughs> one of them. All right. And a Botanical Sanctum. Sanctum, barely knew him. Uh, and there's, yeah, uh, breeding pool is probably going to be, I believe that's a shock land. I put up period. Why did I put a period? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to work with what we have at this point because, uh, that's a shock, but crag. Crown, Pathway, yeah, we're going to have to work with what we have here. Uh, what do you want? Nothing good. All right, Ketria Triome. We don't even have one on that, so we're going to go one, two. That's going to be kind of vital. Otto, Wara. That's going to require one. Sokins and... I See, I didn't get a lot of the... Um, steam vents. Now, there's one I have all four of. One, two, three, four. Yay! Stomping grounds. I believe I have some of that one, too. If... Oh, it's ground, not grounds. Whatever. Yeah, I've got the one. Um, how am I still short four cards? Or two cards, rather. Uh, Alright, so... I have one, two, three... Four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. Yeah, I need to 
give one up, sadly. All right. <clears throat> Let's craft as is. Oh, man. That is all of my rare wild cards. I wish you could, like, trade in wild cards or something. That would be sweet. All right. Fastest yoink in the West. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, once we are done here, I'm going to post this uh, video to YouTube as well as, as a VOD. I'm going to post a link to the deck list, uh, the full deck list. And uh, a link to the guy's video as well. Because um, this is... This is nuts. This this deck is absolutely insane. I've seen it play out. This guy actually has had this available for quite some time. Since May 9th, apparently. Uh, I feel like I should be adding lands to this. Because how many lands do we have? We have 4, 5, 12, 13, 16, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4... Maybe not. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Okay, so Agent of Treachery, I have four. Luca, I have three. Fire Prophecy, I have two. Croaking counterpart. Croaking counterpart. I have two. Prismari command. We have three. Transmogrify. We have four. Burn down the house. We've got two. Courier's briefcase. We have four. Ah, I did miss one. Asuka's chariot please tell me it's not a rare it is a fucking rare sweet all right and we got no rares left all right so as another part of this deck we are supposed to have Asuka's chariot which enters the battlefield creates two 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 green cat creature tokens whenever it attacks create a token of token that's a copy of a target token you control so you're supposed to be doing this after you already have agent of treachery uh tokens so let's uh just add in lands uh so this is not going to be as good <laughs> as the deck that i watched earlier today yes i will oh, okay i need to so let's just call it uh, the fastest yoink. So I think we may still be, and the deck, <laughs> the deck box is, <laughs> the deck box is Agent of Treachery. Oh boy. We're going to get some people real salty. Let's uh, go ahead and make this unassuming. Pet. And we're going to make the avatar, let's say, something stupid. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's let's make it Vivian Reed. And then just drop it on him. Okay, so let's save and exit. Alright, folks. So, let's... Um, Let's just make sure everything's working first. All right, let's give it a test run, shall we? We're gonna have to do this manually a little bit here. Explorer ranked. Let's go right to it. We'll play a couple of games, see how it feels. And then uh, keep you guys posted on progress because obviously I need to get some uh, 
rare wild cards to make this work. Let's see, two, and then for all the lands, which should probably be at least five or six. Ugh. Well, in its current form, let's see how it goes. Captain Clarko. All right, Captain Clarko. Let's do this. All right, so we've got three lands available here. Four, sorry. We've already got an Agent of Treachery in hand, and we're going to go down. Uh, all right, three lands. A Transmogrify and a Courier's Briefcase. Yeah, that'll get us there. And then a Fable of Mirror Breaker. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we'll put the burn down the house down and we'll start this off to the races. I'm going to be so happy if I can get this off. This will be so good. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to do a Timber Crown Pathway. We're going to put out our Courier's Briefcase. We're going to generate us a token. Ooh, Brushfire Elemental. It says, can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. And it has landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. Brushfire Elemental gets plus two, plus two every turn. All right, so next. Now here, we could get into Agent uh, right away. However, we're going to set up a little bit. We're going to go to Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And we're going to cash in easy one damage. Put us on even keel. Yep, that's fine. Get your damage. Makes that super hard to read at this resolution, but that's okay. Okay. Alright, 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 buddy. Buddy, getting a little bit crazy with the cheese whiz, but that's all right because it does not have trample. So, oh, it can't be blocked by two or less creatures. Okay, I see what you're doing here. So, discard up to two cards. If you do, draw that many cards. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do the copy of Luca that we have. Get us a land. All right, so first things first. Uh, we're going to go right for it. It does not look like this guy's going to have any troubles getting into land. So it's not quite as simple sometimes as just stealing their lands. It really isn't. Yep. Why can't I do this? Oh, it's because it doesn't have haste. That's fine. Get your two damage. Okay. Now is where things get really fucking spicy. So I don't have any tokens up right now. So Luca is not a good play. So we're going to go up instead. And we're going to do a croaking counterpart. Deal to take them off of colored land. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to copy that again. And shit's just going to get nuts from here. We're just going to start taking their lands. And I fully expect a concession anytime soon.
So this guy did not concede. All right. You do you, bud. That's my deck looking not bad. All right. I'm going to keep going, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Centers are welcome to debate me in battle. We can all become stronger. Uh, that's right. I have all my copies of that card in hand. Shit balls. All right. That's cool. Auto pay. Take one of your brush fires. Let's make him make some hard decisions, shall we? Uh, we're not losing Kiki Jiki though. With some work, this deck could be really, really evil. And I think uh, we're at three cards. All right, let's do that because we don't. Oh, we need five. All right. Uh, yeah, let's keep a couple of those up. Because <clears throat> at this point, I pretty much won the game unless I managed to somehow let five attacks through from that one brush spot. God damn it. Yeah, he's still gonna win. Because of that brush fire elemental. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so one and two. <clears throat> oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, god damn. All right. Yeah, sure. This could go a lot better if I'm... <laughs> Let's just put that out there. Um... We need to win with this. So, first, and second. So, let's deal our damage there, and then deal our, get our treasure token. Am I going to mill myself out at this rate? Just about. Because I don't have enough to play and all. None of the mana, but I'm, I'm still able to choke him out a little bit. And that's the important part. Because all he's got is that green mana. And there's the concession. Sweet. All right, so that was a lot harder <laughs> to do than I thought. But yeah, the deck is uh, paying off dividends and it works. It works goddamn. Whew. And it's only three colors, like, come on. Alright, we're going to play one more match and then uh, 
let's get on uh yeah actually you know what whatever it takes for the next 20 minutes that's a nice clean cutoff point 10:45 here one hour building and playing this deck also it's nice to not have to play white weenies all the fucking time that's great uh, let's see, this hand is absolute bunk, so we're gonna go ahead and mulligan. This isn't good either. Did I have a good game and that just screws me? Yeah, it looks like this was uh, some form of karma here. So we're going to just go ahead and move on. After a point, mulliganing is like, not good. <laughs> you lose like, four cards, like, that's just over half your hand. I've managed to win with it, but through sheer force of luck. what they're not gonna there's no way after finding a match right away is it taking them that long Are you waiting to find me an appropriate deck to play against the doxter all right let's see what the doxter has with that avatar uh all right that's all the colors i need i have a transmogrify I uh, should have a turn to play. I'm gonna mulligan. There's our token. There's an agent of treachery. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, we do not need to burn down the house. Put this out. Let's get it going. I don't think, yeah, this deck is a little too unreliable in this state. Fucking hell. So I don't pull a transmogrify. Like, all three Agent of Treacheries, that means I have one left in my deck. One. If I can pull one transmogrify, I'll be okay. And there's my transmogrify. How the fuck could I have pulled that off? Alright, that's fine. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, let's get it done. I'm taking you off of your fucking egg. I'll start taking you off of lands if you're not careful. So, an aggro spell slinging deck. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can only do one. Well, that sucks, but that gets me... Oh, Kidoki, yep. And then I can play this. Auto pay, please. Let's fucking go. We are back on track, folks. Are you getting it yet? Are you getting it yet? 
Are you getting it yet? Yep. You're trying. All right. Well. They're not doing any good in my hand, so let's, uh... Wow, that actually worked out terribly for me. Fine, I still have one agent in my deck. So... Should still be doing okay. Oh, hey, Drew. Thanks for tuning in. I mean, if you're still there. Sorry, I'm so focused on trying to make this deck work that, uh... I'm not even paying attention to the chat, and I really should. This is something completely and absolutely new as a strategy for me, so I'm actually really focused, like super hyper-focused here. Um, fuck, man. Speaking of, you know what? Um, can I not? Oh, yeah, because it doesn't have haste. It's okay. Do that. Yeah, can we auto pay that, please? Thank ya. And let's just swing out. It wasn't how I planned on winning, but that's how I won. All right. Yeah, this deck needs some work to make it a little bit more reliable, but this this works for me. This this works a lot. Uh So Juke, uh in case you're just tuning well yeah, you are just tuning in. Um I don't know if you know much about magic, but uh I watched a video earlier today. Um as I do sometimes, uh, sometimes I get uh, videos about magic uh, down the line. And uh, this one was this guy that I follow somewhat casually. And it was this deck in a completely new format that I had not tried. And I was like, okay, let's check this out and see what it's about. And it is absolutely delicious. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I love it. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, it's the second day of somewhat decent weather, and, um, I got an early start to things, so I'm doing good. Hopefully everybody's doing good, too. Oh, nice. All right. I mean, that's a good common card, so it's not ter Oh, why did I take this hand? Why did I legitimately take this hand? Oh, son of a bitch. Well, all I really need at this point is a transmogrify, and I'm good. What does its alt text do? So, discard, destroy, okay, and I only need two for that, yeah, we're going to keep that as a control card. We're not going to let that go off. Well, I'm sorry you had such a rough night. Yeah, to have things not feel, like, swampy all the time really takes the impact of the heat away.
don't get me wrong, it's still relatively hot out there. I mean, for where we live, but... Oh, come on! You son of a bitch. Okay, so this guy may have gotten the jump on me. There's my transmogger by you glorious bastard. Alright. And all of this with two freaking mana, like, come on. Uh. Yeah. So, let's go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can I can relate to that, but I mean, I've got a few other really crummy reasons for like I, I just humidity and me do not get along. Uh, we need to block the most damage. Uh, we can take us off that creature, so that works out. I mean, I took a hell of a beating there, but. Oh man, this is gonna be close. I'm on my heels. Yes. It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna good game it, and we're gonna go ahead and concede. See you around, bud. Good game. Good game. Yeah, I mean. Between, like, sometimes as little as just sweating a lot and as little as just uh, being fatigued easier can go all the way to lethargy and, uh, like, being more prone to illness, being more prone to dizziness spells, being more prone to all kinds of stuff. Uh, in my particular case, depending on what the humidity is doing and how the humidity w works with the um, with uh, the heat, and I've had times through the winter even when it's not even hot, and because it's humid, I deal with things much much worse, which is part of why I hate the winter so much. Not because of the typical. Oh my god, I hate snow. Don't get me wrong, I do hate snow, just for whoever's listening. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it's more because of how cold interacts with me, and then humidity just makes it worse. Which is really hard to express, because there's a lot of people who pipe up about winter and stuff like that. and It's hard to not sound like one of those, those types. Yeah, right? I... I I think shoveling snow is probably the worst because you end up like absolutely covered and it's never just snow because you'll end up with like that winter's worth of salt and sometimes ice and sometimes like slush or however it's been. The first snow is not so bad when you're shoveling it but when it's like oh now see this okay. Sorry to get distracted here. But this is what I like to call a god hand. This was a gift from the heavens. And I appreciate it. So we have three lands. And on turn two, we're going to be playing this here Courier's Briefcase. Then on turn three, we're going to be playing Transmogrify, which gets us into an Agent of Treachery. And then if I'm feeling saucy, I can defend myself with a Prismari Command... Or I can get myself into a shark, a shark typhoon, and I could just cast that naturally because I'll, I'll have all their mana. Yeah, I'll keep seven, please. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into Timber Crown Pathway. So this, barring any mistakes or misplays here, or just the deck hating me. Um, 
This is how this deck should go. So turn two, we generate this here citizen token. So one, one. And this will also generate us a mana. Now, ideally, we'd have a card that would give us a token that generates mana as well, but this will do the trick. So we get us our remaining color, and then we go transmogrify our own token. Get us an Agent of Treachery. Let's see what this guy does. Nothing I should worry about. We're going to get that shock land, though, and take him off a of color. Now, we don't really have any means to copy Agent of Treachery yet. So, we're going to be slow going for a bit until we get our, our next copy maneuver. But, what we're going to do here is we're going to deal 2 damage and then, uh, actually we're going to do a dig and a treasure token. So we're going to target myself twice. Because I can't kill either of those anyways. Uh, wow, okay. That, that kind of sucked. That really sucked. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to continue to dig. And gener generate ourselves a uh, generate ourselves a token in the process. And wow! All right. So you know that thing about how I said, "Unless my deck hates me." I don't know about hate, but oh god, that was not the way that that should have went. That's okay. He's still off a of color. <coughs> okay, so he got rid of... Am I just going to get beaten down by... Burn decks? Is that how we're going to do this? Okay, so... We're going to just pay one because we only need one out of this. We just want... There we go. All right. Let's go. And we can't kill anything. And he's not wide open. So we're not going to attack. This will be the last game of this stream. Uh, just to let everybody know who's watching, who uh, wants to tune in later, I will be playing Rocket League later on. That'll be fun. This guy's doing a lot of damage. He's getting it done. Uh, let's see what this guy does. And the ETBs, create a blood token, tap and sack, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is twice the number of blood tokens you control. Okay, so I see what this guy's trying to do here. So, can we do this and that at the same time? Okay, yeah. Uh, so, we hit one. Uh, let's hit the citizen because the shark's got flying. That has value. We don't want this guy to live. Oh, yes. All right. Now we finally have a means to copy. And we'll get at least two out of this because it uh, goes for three mana the first go. But then it has flashback for five mana, which means I can cast it a second time. Uh, so we're going to get it the first time. We are going to copy Agent of Treachery. And I think we may have to steal this guy, ETBs under your control, create a blood token. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. And then we do it again, copying Agent of Treachery once more. And uh, we're not going to just continue to take him out of... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's steal one of his damage dealers. 
And then we just basically draw our deck. Oh, good god. Alright, how many do we have to discard? Uh, yeah, we don't need shock lands anymore. Uh... We have one more that we gotta get rid of. Yeah, it's another shock. It's fine. And the guy's applauding me. That's nice. He says. It is nice. Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay. I see your deck, and I like it. I'm disturbing it. But I like it. All right, let's uh let's go. Let's uh let's see what this guy does before we go ahead and cast it. Okay, so basically I can use it to bounce stuff. So these are as utility. I see. I see. I see. I see. Uh all right. So let's go like this. Uh does this deal enough? This just two damage, right? Okay, so we don't need to really dig all that much. We already got two uh agents out. And we have any in exile or the grave. I believe we have one in the grave. Because I discarded one, right? Well, we're going to find out. Luca, tell us what's up. I'm going to trade out a copy for a copy. Get us a... Wait. Why didn't you get me... Oh, uh, well, whatever. I just wasted mana for nothing. Force you to cast it again. The only thing you can really kill is this token and that's what he's gonna do and then I lose one life you gain one life and I get to draw six cards agent of treachery for the record is an absolutely busted card why I got banned in several formats uh, I don't do not need Luca so let's just get rid of him So the idea at this point is to either deal damage through combat or Luca's ultimate, whichever comes first. Yep, draw your cards. Dig, dig, dig. And I left myself wide open. I don't normally do that. Go ahead, get your free damage, bud. Let's play this out, not quite Mimi. Let's try and actually do the thing. Make this work out good. And for some reason we're muting out damage noises. That's, that's where we're at. I think we've got enough on board to uh, finish the game. No combat sounds still. That's fine. We just won. 
All right, so I think this deck is doing okay. We're off one card, and uh, our land base has got to be fixed, but not doing too shabby. I like it. All right, so with that, I'm going to get myself all fixed up. I'm going to switch over our laundry, do some cleaning up in the kitchen, and uh, contemplate what more to do with this deck. I don't really think it needs to be touched up too much, but uh, yeah, looking good. And uh, if you guys want to swing around for my Rocket League broadcast, that would be awesome too. Uh, if not, it will be up on YouTube. You can check it out there as well. So uh, yeah, check you guys later. Have a good uh, rest of your morning, I guess. <laughs> TDF out.